What up, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your girl, and I'm checking in back with another video, y'all. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, before we even get to the video, make sure you like this video. And yeah, but I'm just really gonna get right into the video. And let's get it. Let's get into it, to be honest. So, I am. I don't know how can I say it. It's not that I'm back, but I'm back. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm back, but I'm like not back. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my fan because it is. Me. so it's it's like i'm back but i'm not back though you know what i mean you know what i mean so yeah um i don't know what this title of this video is gonna be i honestly don't know what it's gonna be about all i know is that i'm here i'm here and i'm making a video for y'all because i actually felt like making a video i'm not gonna lie y'all it be days where like i do want to make videos but i can't because i just it's like i beat up to it but then something just it just i just fall down and it's like dang i can't i don't know maybe it's just because the after part the after part was all this editing and all kind of stuff let me tell you like i told y'all it's not easy like just editing this stuff like i get sometimes i could get like oh i don't want to feel like editing i'm tired like after I finish making these videos, I have to edit and then drop it and then take some time to drop. So it's just like, yeah, like this is just too much. But today I honestly felt like dropping out a banger for y'all, a video for y'all, I don't know, whatever y'all want to call it. But yes, I honestly felt like making a video today. So, um, your girl has been doing good. Your girl has been doing good. Your girl has been doing good in school. Here you go, got all A's. I'm just... This is one of these classes, y'all. It's just, it ain't bad, but it's just the, uh, she just need to put, because I did the assignment, but she just haven't put the grading yet. So, that's what it is for that. But, like I said, I'm doing really good, y'all. Um, I do got some stuff that I really want to tell y'all, but I can't, sad, but I can't tell y'all. But anyways, so, some of y'all, well, I know I talked to some of y'all off camera and i talk to y'all most of y'all on the phone and some of y'all do know what's going on but a lot of y'all don't know what's going on like it might be some of my friends that we know what's going on but that's off camera like on camera i'm pretty sure none of y'all y'all really don't know but some of my friends they do know because i tell them everything you know what i mean like i tell my sister everything and so yeah so i really wish i could tell y'all what it is but um yeah I want to introduce y'all to somebody, but it's just like, you know, it's just too much. It's just, it's not too much. It's just like certain people are watching me. So like, I gotta be careful or I both, you know what I mean? So yeah, but we didn't talk about that. But anyway, so like I said, I'm doing really good. I'm doing perfect. I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. Um, I know we have something coming up for the church. Um, I know y'all. I know we're probably only got two likes on that video, but it was the video where I had uh, recorded this girl singing, and it was people all in the choir, and it had like their number. It had like the number of the church number, or whatever it posted well i think we're gonna be going to um the church again but it's gonna be somebody powerful there and um yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be powerful at that church and it's like this it's like this y'all it's i'm going because i feel like i need it and i feel like you know something might be there for me or you know i don't know it's just something so deeply just like Oh, I want to just, oh, I just really want to go. I want to be there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm determined to go, you know? So, yeah. 
but I'm pretty sure we my mama said she already gonna go. I'm gonna be there, so I know it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be perfect. The Holy Spirit's gonna be moving. It's just gonna be wonderful, like amazing, wonderful you could ever imagine. So, yes, it's gonna be peaceful. Imagine. It's just gonna be the Holy Spirit's gonna be so high in that place. Oh. <laughs> you don't even realize it. it's like you're gonna be sitting there and you could just feel the holy spirit there like you're just sitting there you might you might not feel it because you might not be uh you might not be in the red spot you might not be how can i say it? you might not be in the right spot and you might not be your mind not might your mind might not realize or because you know you have so much stuff in the world and so like it's like when you go to church it's like you really not focused and you're not really into it you know what i mean so yeah but i'm not even gonna lie though we've been going to that church we've been going to that church um we've been going to that church and i just love it i just really i really truly love that church like it's so amazing it's amazing how they worship it's amazing how they how they pray for you it's just it's just it's amazing how the love is there you know what i mean like you don't get that at many churches you know what i'm saying many churches are not it's not many churches are not what it really is it's really churches churches are not how it used to be back in the day like you know what i mean like it's not not see that like I'd be like jeez like what happened to y'all getting down in the deep like Y'all going in the word and y'all finding different chapters, but talk about the deep, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like that. But anyways, um, but anyways, so yeah, I just can't wait to go and I'm, and I'm really going to love it and I'm really going to enjoy it. I cannot wait. Hopefully I get a breakthrough. Hopefully everything in me just falls down like everything that's in my heart that don't need to be in my heart just falls out and just just it just relieves and then like i just hope that i would never have these issues again like i'm telling you because let me tell y'all some of my issues is my anger my attitudes i'm just i don't know it's like i pray and I pray to God, like, Lord, help me with my anger. Help me with this. Help me with that. I don't know why I'm always angry. Why I'm, almost, why I'm always upset. Why everything always upsetting me. Why everything always frustrating me. You know, why everything is always frustrating me. I don't know. And I'm just asking, like, Lord, help me. So hopefully when I go to this place, everything just relieves out of me. And just, it just all leaves and never, ever return to me again. So that's what I'm hoping for hopefully i get a breakthrough a miracle sign and a wonder hopefully i'll just be broken from everything and broken down in the deep of whatever and so um yeah that's just basically what i really you know so i can't wait till that comes up i think that's supposed to be coming up through november 3rd through the 7th so i can't wait for that i'm really really thankful for that i'm really thankful for this i know like i said it's gonna be amazing the power of god is gonna be in that place it's like you can be in the spirit and you can come out of the spirit and you can jump right back into it because the spirit is so high and it's so anointed and it's just like it's amazing so yes um i'm also going to be doing a video of the um i'm going to be doing a, a, a separate video of the skit that I posted because I'm pretty sure y'all watched it but I feel like a lot of y'all don't understand what it really means and really what it is so I'm gonna go deep in details about that and how how it went so yeah I'm sorry y'all keep looking back it's because they be in and out my room and it's just so annoying but I'm sorry but I am gonna be doing another video and I'm gonna deeply 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 deep down into what it really is um I'm really gonna deep, go really deep down into really what that what what that is about, because you can watch but you won't understand. You can watch and you can still do the things that you do, and then you know what I mean. So it's like it's just crazy. So it's crazy, y'all, because I just see how these times are getting 
shorter and shorter and shorter and it's like these days are going fast and it's crazy this is what i be talking about like y'all need to get y'all lives together including me because i even be saying like okay what am i doing you know what i mean like what the heck is going on you know what i mean so but these days are going so fast it's like geez you don't even know when jesus christ is gonna be back and you don't want to be one of those people that because like he said he won't wait on no man so i mean hey it's either up to you it's either you choose the good seed or you choose the bad seed you either you either eat the good fruit or you want to eat the bad fruit and you know it's bad but you're still eating the bad fruit it's up to you but i just know and i just pray and i just hope that my life will be together before jesus christ come back because i promise you i don't want to be here when he come back I don't want to be left behind because the mess that I did in the world or worldly things that I'm telling you, I don't want to be apart by myself with, I want to be with Jesus Christ and I want to be, I want to reign with him in heaven. So that's just what it is. I know we're not perfect. I know nobody's not perfect. I'm not perfect. I still do worldly things sometimes and I will say that. But, you know, that's why I have this one song that I just, it's like when I make a mistake, y'all, that song just comes into my mind. When I'm doing something wrong, that song comes to my mind. When I know I'm not doing right, that song comes to my mind. It's just like I can go to, I can go to that song and that song will just release. It just relieves me. But it, it shouldn't mean that I should go back and do it again and then this song come back to my mind. It should just be like, Leave that to the side and just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. And I'm going to keep worshiping because it seems like when I worship, it, worship is more better than praise and all that kind of stuff. And I see that. And that, and that song is a worship song. And just, it's just, it puts me in a mindset just like I'm only focused on Jesus Christ. Like me and you are alone. And that's what the song is about. Like, just give me him like i want him i want nobody else but him i want his love i want everything in him in me i want him to take anything that doesn't need to be there in me i want to have a relationship with him you know everything like that so when the song says give me jesus it's just like give me only him and nobody else alone because his love is so deep and it's so refreshing and you know what i mean so yeah that's just basically what it is. So every single time that song comes up in my mind or in my spirit, I just play it and I just go into this emotional mode and I just, just worship and just all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. And that's what they kind of do at the place that, I'm, that we're going to. So I just cannot wait. If y'all want me to vlog, let me know. Let me know if you want me to vlog. I will vlog it for y'all. As a matter of fact, I do need to, but if I don't have no time, um, sorry. But hopefully I do have time in any sense in that. But like I said, I have been doing good. I have been doing well. I'm doing perfectly fine. I know y'all haven't seen me on my channel in like a minute. I posted that skit. But like I said, I'm going to go read in detail. And I'm going to go deeper so y'all can really understand. Not just watch it and then think you know, but you really don't know. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go deeper into really what that dream was about. And yes, um... I could kind of speak on a little bit. I'm going to speak on a little bit, but I'm going to go deeper. I'm not going to go deeper into it. If I go deeper into it, that means the Holy Spirit just wants me to. But yeah. So, like I said, I don't know what this title is going to be about, but we will see. And yeah. But I can give you a little bit. So, basically, I'm just going to skip to the part where um, we were going to sleep. We were going to sleep. So, um, I'm going to connect it okay i'm gonna actually connect it so um yeah but anyways so we were laying down on the stage and we were acting like we were snoring my aunt she was pretending like she was jesus okay now I'm, that's that's right there i'm gonna stop that right there now i'm gonna relate it i'm gonna connect it to what really happened so at three o'clock in the morning i had a dream okay at three o'clock in the morning i had a dream okay this is this is so serious and this is crazy 
hope that I don't start crying because it gets emotions to me sometimes. But yeah. But anyways, so I had a dream at three o'clock in the morning, and um, I met with Jesus Christ. And this is not a joke. This is not funny. This is not games. None of that. Uh, was he happy with me when I seen him? I don't think he was. He was not very happy with me. He was straightforward. And yeah. But anyway, so I had a dream. And in the skit, I had a dream. And the girl was like, what happened in your dream? Okay. Now let me relate it back to the real reason. So I had a dream at 3 o'clock in the morning. And basically what I kind of said in that skit is what really basically happened in my dream. Like, I seen him. I seen his eyes. His eyes were the exact same color as we are. He was sitting in this chair. He was long. And we. he was talking to me. He was just like, I don't even think if you're serving me. I don't even know if you're who you're serving. Like, you're one foot in, one foot out. I don't even know who you're serving. You're unstable. And I'm like, whoa. Seriously, this is a really serious talk. Serious talk. And, like, he really showed me his face. Hey, Jesus Christ could not hide his face from me he was so dead serious that it wasn't to the point he couldn't even hide it he had to be straightforward with me he had to show me his face like hey i'm not playing with you it's either you get your life together or you can go to hell which one you want to do you know what i mean and that's how jesus christ is with it now like he's not waiting on nobody he's not playing with nobody you either gonna get your life right or you could take you could take your choice and what you do in the world today and when you die the next day you can take that and you can go up to with him with it because it's like your life basically tells you where you're gonna go if you was to die the next day. So if you live you if you live a worldly life and you die the next day, and God tell you like, look, I'm sorry, but you can't enter. You know what I mean? Sorry, you can't enter. So it's very important to get your life together, and that's what he was just basically telling me, like, you don't like. And then my mama had to ask him, um, he had to ask my mama, should I let her in? And my mom was like, if there's enough, if there's, if there's enough time or enough room, let her in. And he left y'all and he said, we'll see. He was not playing with me. And God told me, he was like, I'm tired. I'm tired of, I'm tired of my people just not even caring anymore. Like they're just all doing what they want to do. Like they not caring. But so let me tell you, it's like this. You don't care? <laughs> well, he doesn't care. It's like, you don't care about how you... You don't care about Jesus Christ. You say you worship him and you love him, but you really don't. You still doing the things that you do. And even me sometimes. And I kind of and I kind of see myself falling. Like, I do some worldly things sometimes. And I'm like, okay, like, stop. That's why I even stopped doing dances on my channel. Because it's like... Okay, like you can, and my they're like you don't even realize that the enemy's using you when you listen to these music, this songs, or when you dance to the songs because for one you don't know what they're talking about, and then for two you don't even know what can you know what I'm saying. So it's like I kind of even stopped doing dances. The last dance was probably with my best friend, and that was like a best friend song, so I did that with her. But I really stopped doing all these dances on my channel, as you could tell. I stopped doing that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just like, I really want to take a break. I really do. I really want to take a break from all these songs and all this TikTok crap. And it's just so much. It's just so annoying. TikTok is annoying to me now. I do not like TikTok anymore. It's annoying. It's just, I just can't. It's like, TikTok is foolishness. It's, it really is. It's foolishness. Like, you need to be getting your life together. Because if you were to die tomorrow, you don't even know where you're going. You don't even know where you're going and you're still here watching TikTok. Come on now. Your your life is based on TikTok. Your life is based on you dancing 24-7. Like, but if something was happened to you, you don't even know where you're going and you're scared. Oh, you're asking God to let, let you in, but you really don't deserve to go into heaven. Because like my mama said, people, sin cannot enter heaven. Sin cannot enter heaven. So that's why I try to like, pray every day like lord anything that's in my heart y'all need to be there take it out of me i don't want it i don't need it you know what i mean i'm straightforward i'm being so serious this is what i say every single time or when i'm in my worship i literally like you know 
ask God to like, please help me. You know what I mean? Like, Lord, take this out of me. I don't want it. I don't want frustration. I don't want anger. I don't want none of this stuff. It's like every single, every single little thing just bothers me. Like, it frustrates me. I don't know why. And it's just crazy. It's just like, baby, baby, like that's the enemy letting you, the en you letting the enemy get to you. And I'm just like, how? How am I letting him? You know what I mean? But it's true because he's sitting back laughing at me every single time I get frustrated. Or when you get into a fight, he's sitting back laughing at you because he knows he wants you to fight somebody. And he knows that he can hurt somebody. Because what the Bible says he want, what what he what does the Bible say he wants try to do? Kill, steal, and destroy. So when you come across somebody, you want to fight somebody, you just can't get over and you really want to fight them so bad. That's because the enemy is allowing you to try to hurt them and he wants you to kill them because what he says in the word, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So first of all, you're trying to destroy a person, you're trying to kill them, and you might even try to steal from them. So that's what the enemy comes to do. So that's what the enemy wants you to do to that person. He wants you to kill that person. He wants you to hurt them and he wants them to end up in the hospital. That's what it is. So now I realized that I'm like, this is why I don't fight people. It's not that I'm scared to, but... I just fight. When I need to fight, like, it's stupid. It's very stupid and it's ignorant. It's ignorant to fight somebody over little stupid things. Even, like, if they say something about you and you still want to fight them, like, it's stupid. Why would you want to fight them? Because they're talking about you. Like, you don't need to hear that. Like, okay, and, like, you know what I mean? It's just like when, when people see your parents together and it's like, people still talking about your parents and they're like, oh, well, they need to break up. They don't like kids. And this and that. Like, you don't you don't know what I go through in my lifetime. You don't under you don't know what we go through off camera. You don't know what we you don't know that. You don't really understand. So forget what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Like when people say choose who your friends is and you know what your friend I don't be like when they say I'm ugly or my friend's ugly or this and so or somebody's ugly to me or you know what I mean? Like I don't be caring because it's like I don't need to. I don't need to listen to all that. That's just negativity that they want you to pay attention to. Like, I'm not about to pay attention to that. You could just keep going. Like, I don't care. I have a life to live. Life is too short. I don't need, I have no time to be thinking about, oh, oh, I'm ugly. She said, I'm ugly. Oh, we want to fight. Like, I don't got time for that. Or you want to post it? Or you want to pull up to my house? Let's do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't got time for that. Like, I have a life to live. If I, Tomorrow's not promised to me. I could be dead. I could be, I can die in a few more minutes. Like, you don't understand. You don't know. You don't have no time to listen to people calling you ugly and say you don't know how to dance. You don't got time for that. People are dying left and right. And that's what people don't understand. They think, they think that people are dying slowly and nah, people are dying like this. Every single day, like you got people in the world that's about to die tomorrow and they don't even know. They're partying and don't even know they're about to die tomorrow. Okay, you got people, you got people that's doing all kinds of stuff and don't know they're about to die tomorrow. And don't know that they're dying tomorrow and they're entering hell. When's the last time you picked up a Bible? Huh? When's the last time? When's the last time you got into worship? When's the last time you really went to church and got healed, set free, and delivered? When's the last time? Because let me tell you, God looks at your whole entire life, and he judged your whole entire life. And you still here today, he's still giving you more time to get it right. Because once you die, that's it. God don't want to hear it no more. He don't want to hear it no more. He's giving you chances today to get it right. Because once you die, that's it. There's no more chances after that. You're gone. Now it's time Now it's time for him to decide where you're going to be. Either hell or heaven. For eternity. For life. You only get one life. So, that's why I'm like, I don't need to listen to nobody. Because I need to be getting in my word. I need to be worshiping. I need to do all this stuff. Like, I don't got time to be listening to the world. I don't got time to be looking on social media. I don't got time to be looking on what social media posts say. Especially right now, I don't even have social media. 
Okay, the only thing I have is YouTube. And sometimes YouTube be distracting because I be saying some foolish stuff on YouTube sometimes too. And I'm like, this is crazy. Like, oh, 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 it's because it entertains you. Jesus Christ can entertain you and give you because it's either that that entertainment is not gonna be when you die tomorrow. You're not gonna be entertained when you die tomorrow or the next day. God is judging you now. He's putting you in hell or heaven now. At that point he's not entertaining you I mean he might be entertaining you by telling you what you did in your lifetime on earth but that's it it's either you go to hell or heaven it's either like that so with that being said that's why I don't focus on what nobody tell me you know what I mean I'm trying to get my life right time is too short people dying left and right you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to get my life right. I don't care what people got going on. I don't need no more friends. I don't got time. I have to be straightforward. I have ministry I have to go do. I'm in the ministry. And y'all seen that. Y'all seen the skit. My auntie has us. We have we are a team and my mama is included. So I have ministry to do. I can't be, you know. On TikTok, I can't be on social media. I can't be looking at social media what they post about because I don't care. I don't have time. When people ask me, "Oh, why you don't have social media? You're lame." Okay, I'm lame. Let me be lame. But I know if I was to die to this world tomorrow, I would know where I will be. I'm on social media every single day. I'm on TikTok every single day. I'm dancing. I'm turning up. I'm in the, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm smoking. I'm drinking. I'm cl I'm doing all this stuff. And I die tomorrow. I would know where I'll be going. Straight to hell. Because that's how it's going to get you to. If I'm worshiping and I'm dedicating my life to God and I'm surrendering and I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that, I'm trying to save people as well, I would be know, I would know where I go the next day. I understand it's not easy. But you have to be in a place to where you gotta balance it. You have to, you have to be in a place like, Lord, I need you. Like, set aside social media, set aside this, social, and like, I don't even, like I said, I don't even have social media. Like, the only thing I have is probably YouTube. Like, I don't be on social media. I don't have social media. You know what I mean? And some stuff come from TikTok and it goes to YouTube, and I'm like, dang, it's like you cannot get. There's, it's just no way you could get away from TikTok. There's no absolute way. You hear it at school. It might be somewhere on YouTube. Or it's just, there's no way out of social media unless you completely turn off your social media. And like, because some people say they can't live without social media. That's crazy. That is very crazy. And that means... You are so caught up into your phone and TikTok to where you're not even. And it's crazy because what she was saying in that skit is what it is today. Like, what she, what, what my friend said in the end of the video is really what it is. People say they love God, but they really don't. People say they need him, but they really don't. People say they read the Bible, but they really don't. People say they know everything, but they really don't. You know what I mean? They see her on social media and they're turning up and this and that, like, and I have to catch myself. I have to catch myself. When I was doing them dances on my YouTube channel, I was like, look, I can't be trying to serve God in there over here doing these dances for people. You know what I mean? Like, I have to lead, I have to lead my channel to something. I have to lead my channel to Jesus Christ because I want everybody on my channel to be saved. You know what I mean? I don't want nobody in hell for eternity. I don't want nobody on my channel to be burned for eternity. I need I want everybody to see their family and just reign with him. That's what I want. I don't want to see y'all perish and die and go to hell. I don't need to see that. You know what I mean? Like I want everybody to just be happy and free. But I understand that's not the case because like Jesus Christ said, the gates are narrow and heaven is not big and everybody's not gonna make it. I really want to say, I don't, I don't know for sure, but this is just my guess. A thousand and a, maybe a, not even a thousand people are not even going to make it into, it might be 10% of people that make it into heaven. And it's like, you would really want to be one of those people because, like you said, the gate is now, it might be even 5%.
who knows, 5%, he said it's not big at all. So what that means is there's a pretty, um, there's a pretty amount in a pretty average of people that's going to be in heaven. But it seems like most people are going to go to hell. So, what that means is you want to be one of those people because it ain't big. And like I said, he truly came to me and I truly seen him and he was straightforward with me. He told me like that to my face, y'all. I'm not even lying. I put this on everybody. I'm not lying. This is what he told me. I came in contact with him and he told me, I don't even know who you're serving. Are you serving me or are you serving the devil? Which one are you doing? You're one foot in, you're one foot out. One minute you could be doing dances, next minute you could be serving me. Which one are you doing? He told me these things. And he said, I'm so tired. I'm so, I'm just I'm so tired. I'm really am. He's like I'm he said he told me we were having a real life conversation and I seen him in my dream. We were talking and I like I said I seen Jesus Christ physically. So it's like nobody can tell me that he's not real because he came to me and was talking to me and try, and let me know like you don't get your life together, this is where you're gonna be. Oh, you wanna do you wanna serve me and you want to the double? This is what you this is where you're gonna be if you were to die tomorrow. I will take you and you will feel hell. I'm not even lying. It was straight like that. It was straight like that. God was not playing with me. He was straightforward. And after he, after my mama said, let her in, if it's, a, if it's, if the time, if there's more time. And God was like, I don't know. We'll see. He, he said it straight like that. I don't know. We'll see. That's what he said to me. I don't know, we'll see. And the meeting was over. I don't know, we will see. Which means, if I continue to do the things of the enemy, then it's a pretty average in amount that I'll be going to hell. <coughs> but <coughs> if I do his will and do his way and lead people to Christ and try to save their soul, and the hurt and through the pain to try to get them and try to save them from sin to going to hell, I would be one of those probably five percent of people or ten people percentage of people that would be going to heaven to see my family and around with Jesus Christ. I understand it might be hard to live life and try to live this godly life and you on TikTok and this is I I could probably understand that. But that's why you just need to just go, just go ask, talk to him. Talk to God like you would talk to a regular person, like, Lord, I need help. Like, this TikTok is, 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 I can't, I can't do TikTok at this moment. I need you because I don't know when I'm going to die and I don't know when you're going to take me. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if you were to come back today and I don't go with you and I don't make it. I don't know where I'll be going. None of us know where we're going. But we sit here and do the world thing with worldly things, but we don't even know where we're going. It don't it's not adding up, it doesn't make sense. So it's like talk to him like Lord, I need help. Get this social media. I need a break. I just want you at this moment. Talk to me. Show me your face. Show me your fresh anointing. Show me your wind. Show me everything. Just show me who you really are. You know what I mean? Talk to him like you would talk to a regular person. Like, tell him, no, I don't need this. Or, no, Lord, don't give me this. Or, like, talk to him. Talk to him like you would talk to a regular person. My mama talks to Jesus Christ every single day like a regular person. She sits here. Mama prays every day and talks to Jesus Christ like a normal person. Like, it's not that you need to see him. You could just talk to him. Like, I even, I, like I told you, I had asked God. I said, Lord. Because it was... I kept not it's not that I was making excuses not to go to church on a Sunday, but I'm like, I don't have no clothes to wear. I don't have no church clothes. And I'm like, Lord, I need stuff to wear. I need some church clothes. I need some shoes. You know what he did? He literally, I literally went to the store. My mama got, I don't know what happened, but we ended up going to the store and she was just letting me get anything I needed. 
shoes, clothes. So it's like, ask. You need to ask him for what you want. You want a phone? Ask him. Do do his will, do his way, and he will reward you back. You know what I mean? Ask him and he shall give it to you. Close mouth, don't give fair. So if you don't ask him for what you want, you're not going to get it. The percentages, you're not going to get it. So you have to ask. You know what I mean? You have to ask him for what you want. You just can't, oh, I want, I want a phone. I need this. I want that. Let me ask a woman. No, because see, Jesus Christ made everything. God can turn that situation around in a minute. He can give you what you want in a minute. Your parents can change their mind and give it to you in a minute. But you just have to do his will and his way. You just have to do what he needs you to do. He, you just got to follow the path. You just got to follow the way. Follow his truth and follow his light. The Bible says he is the truth, the way, and the light. The truth, the way, and the light. He is the way. He is the light. He's not the darkness. The devil is the darkness. God is the light. Dark and light don't mix. Remember that. You know what I mean? Good people and bad people don't mix. Remember that. Bad police officers and good police officers don't mix. Christians and clubbers don't mix. Wheat and tears don't mix. Okay. Social media and all this and st other stuff don't mix. It does not mix. Like, that's just like when you put two things together in a drink and you're like, oh, this is nasty. It don't mix. It is not, it don't taste right. It don't mix. It doesn't mix. Right? Right. So that's just how it is. You just gotta, if something ain't mixing, fix it. If, if milk and water don't mix, then fix it. Cause it's not right you know what I mean if soda and pizza don't mix fix it it's not right okay so fix whatever it is now don't wait until Jesus comes and you're like oh well, Lord please let me in please please you know I went through the hurt and the pain and the suffering no you have to do his will and his will. You got to ask him. You have to ask him for. You got to ask him for healing. You have to. You really have to strive. You have to do Jesus Christ's will. You have to do his way. You have to be that light. You have to save people. You got to have unforgiveness. You, you can't be. You gotta have unforgiveness. You got you have to, you have to let unforgiveness go. Hate cannot enter. Hatred cannot enter. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff that can't enter, unforgiveness cannot enter heaven. And it's it's crazy. And let me tell you, in this and it seems like this world is becoming a world of of um it's just crazy because like I'm seeing how so many people are turning are, are are being gay these days. And I'm like, what in the world? And it's crazy, like I'm like, okay, does it say in the Bible that God made woman and men together? Not men and men together, not woman and woman together. Do they not know that you cannot enter heaven like that? That's the whole sin. You cannot enter heaven like that. Um <laughs> and I know. Like, and I'm pretty sure if I wasn't like that, I would pretty sure, I'm pretty sure God would tell me in my dream, like, the way you are and who you are cannot enter heaven like that. And see, it might hurt, but he's letting you know the truth. If you come in contact with Jesus Christ, really? And he, because he, I'm going to tell you, he ain't going to sugarcoat nothing with you. None of that, because he ain't sugarcoat nothing with me. He was straightforward. He was straightforward. It ain't no high, he ain't hide nothing from me. We will see where you will end up. That's straight what he told me. We will see. So, we'll see. Is what he's saying. We'll see how she do. 
what she's doing is she leaning to me or is she leaning to the enemy which one is she doing is she doing dances on tiktok every single day or is she trying to work her hardest and she's trying to find who i am you know what i mean so am i on social media every single day or am i trying to find the king if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to find love from Jesus Christ, if I'm trying to find the light of Him, if I'm trying to find the way of Him, if I'm trying to find the way that He wants me to live, which one is it? Am I doing these things, or am I leaning to the enemy still? Which one is it? Am I turning up, or if I, am I turning up, or am I really trying to figure out who He is? You know, am I really trying to figure out every single day who He is? In my worship, in my praise, and going my bad times, in my good times, is it which one? So it's very deep. It is very, 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 very deep. And so that's what it is today. But um, but so let's go back to what happened in the skit. So basically, my auntie was Jesus Christ. My auntie was Jesus Christ, and it was like she was talking to me, and everything, it's like everything that she said in that skit is the exact same stuff that happened in real life. Like, I stopped, I, when I was little, like, if you heard everything she was saying, it was so, it was real. I'm so, it was so real, and it's, it's really real, because when I was a little girl, it would be every single day that I was praying, that I was in the Bible. It was every single day, nothing. It wasn't no social media that was in it. It was just nothing. It was just me praying every single day. And it's like, and God is always asking like, what happened to that little girl you was that was always wanting to pray or always, it was like, maybe at that time when I was a little girl, I was gonna make it into heaven. That's what it kind of felt like. That's what it kind of felt like. And so everything that she was saying about me when I was a little girl and how I used to be in the Bible when I was a little girl and when I used to pray, I mean, like, it was, <clears throat> it's crazy, y'all, because every minute, every second, I was praying, every minute, I mean, every minute, every minute, like, you could, you could look up, I was praying, you could look down, I was praying, you could look this way, I was praying, you could just do anything in a minute, and I was praying, and so, it was just crazy, and it's just like, man, I need to, I want to, I need to get back to that, like, what is it, what does it need to take for me to just really, just, just, you know what I mean? Like, what is it going to take? I don't know. It's just like, what do I need to do? And I ask God every single day, like, what what do you want me to do to be that little girl again? Like, what do you want, what do I need to do to be that little girl that wants to pray every single day, that needs to read the word every single day, that's trying to, trying to help people out here in the world every single day? That what What is it that <clears throat> people need from me? So, Lord, I need... I need you to help me be this little girl again. I need you to build me back up like this little girl I was. You know what I mean? So it's like that. And so that's, and I really, and, I, and I'm so serious, like I really want to be that little girl how I used to be. And I'm telling you, like, I, and I told y'all this before. I told y'all. You could ask a lot of people and they will always tell you, like, when she was a little girl, she was praying. She was always in the Bible. Like, it did, I don't know, maybe because it was always, because they had prayer every single day. We was always in a little um, circle just praying. And I'm just, and I'm just praying too. I'm just praying too. I'm just praying and I'm, I'm praying and we'll read the Bible. And it's just like, man. And it's, it's crazy because this is my grandma, this is my grandma's friend. And she's not even related to me. She's my friend, but we will always be praying in the Bible together. And this was just, it, it was just so good. And it was just like. It was like God was almost happy with me doing that every single day. Like it was like if I was to die when I was a little girl, I was gonna make it into heaven because I was straight up like that. You know what I mean? I was reading the Bible every single day. I was praying seriously. So it was like, man, what do I need to do to be that little girl again? What do I need to do to just be that little girl? Cause, man. Everything now is just like, oh, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to keep continue praying to God. I'm going to actually write. I'm going to be writing to God, too, because um, my mom's friend, um, she had told me to start writing to God, and uh, he would answer me. 
and just keep writing to him. So I'm going to start writing to him and keep worshiping, keep doing my worships. And um, yeah, because like I said, I have no time for foolishness. I don't have time to be worried about people talking about. I have a life to live. And tomorrow's not promised to me. I could be gone tomorrow and you won't even know. So, yeah. Because tomorrow is not promised to us. So, it's like, hmm. I need to get on it. Chop, chop. Because time is ticking. Time is ticking so fast. Like, we're almost already about to be at Friday. Man, it's crazy because this morning, y'all, this morning, I literally looked up at the top, like, I laid back down because it was still two. No, it was, it was five. It was, it was five. And so I looked at the time, I'm like, okay, it's six. No, let me get back up. Y'all, do y'all know when I woke up, it was 6.33? I said, Jesus, if you're not coming back soon, I don't know what it is. I just had a at that time. That time just had told me 6.10. Now it's already 6.33. Y'all, I'm like, Lord, if you ain't coming back soon, I don't know what it is. Like, man, time ain't waiting for nobody. And I, and I sat here today, I said I missed the bus today. And I just looked out. I just looked at how time goes so fast. Like, before I knew it, it was 2 o'clock. I just remember me asking mama to take me to school and I just remember me laying down all of a sudden I get back up it's two o'clock we already out of school I'm like 2 35 when I got out of school I'm like golly so time and time is ticking it's either you still want to do what you want to do I mean God gives us free will but it's up to us to decide of what we're going to do like my mama said and that's skip Every single day in our lives, we have to choose. It's either we waking up, it's either we need to go somewhere, or we need to get what we need. It's a choice we have to make. And that's what she was saying. When we go to the store, when you land down, you're like, man, I need to go to the store. Or man, I need to go get this. It's either you're going to get up and go get it, or it's going to stay where it's at. You need clothes and you lay in the bed. You either going to get those clothes or you're going to continue. It's a choice. Oh, you need to get this done. But you slacking. You not doing what you need to do. So it's not going to get done. You know what I mean? We have to choose every single day. I have to choose if I'm going to get up to throw some clothes on and get up, go to school. Or I'm going to continue laying in the bed and be late. So it's just like that. It's just like you're going to continue to be on social media. Then you didn't have a time with God or what? So it's like. It's crazy, y'all, because I really had that dream, and it was 3 o'clock in the morning. And I say every single day at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to get up and start worshiping. Because my mama said that's the time that Jesus Christ, that God really comes to you and comes to your mind is at 3 o'clock in the morning. Because he should. I'm, it's crazy because I was asleep, but I wasn't asleep. I'm telling y'all, as soon as I got that dream, y'all. I just started crying. I got out the bed and I started crying. And this is what they, and this is what they were saying in the dream. And this is what they were saying in the skit. And it's so true. It's like the, it was like the skit was almost about me. You know what I mean? And it's crazy because if I, if I would have never had that dream, the skit would have been probably different. But it was like the skit was basically all about me. It was all about my dream that I had with Jesus Christ. And everything that he was basically saying. Because, like I said, everything that my auntie was telling me when I was pretending like I was waking up is basically what Jesus Christ was telling me in that dream. So, with that being said, yep, I really came in contact with Jesus Christ. I did. I seen his face and he was very beautiful. He was, he was, he doesn't look like nothing on the internet. Well, they say he could come in different forms. He could come in any kind of way. Okay, because Jesus Christ can do anything he wants to. He's sovereign. He can do anything he want to do. Y'all know that. I always know that. So he could come in any kind of form he wants to. Okay, any kind of form. He could come in white. 
He can come in regular clothes. I mean, he came in regular clothes, like regular clothes that we wear. He was wearing in my dream, and he was tall. God, Je Jesus Christ was tall up in that chair. He was sitting back and was just tall. I'm like, jeez. He was tall, but like I said, he could come in any kind of form, any kind of way. And like my, and like they were telling me at the church, like, you know, God doesn't choose everybody. Everybody's not chosen by God. So it's like, if I'm chosen, do what he wants me to do because I'm chosen and he wants me. Obviously he wants me. I'm the one that's chosen. Thank God I am chosen because he needs me. He needs me to go out there and do what he needs me to do so I can go home with him. So, yeah. So, I'm chosen and that's what everybody tells me. I am chosen and I do feel like I am. He already kind of told me, you need to get on your stuff. You need to do what you need to do. So, yeah. That skit was basically all about me. But I'm going to go more in detail. I kind of went in a little detail, but I didn't go deep, deep, deep into how I really want to but um yeah but that is really um that would actually conclude this video so hopefully y'all took this and ran with it and go to tell your family go share it with your family share it on Instagram and Facebook share it because you could share anything else on Facebook you could share anything else on Instagram you could share anything else on Snapchat but you can't share what I'm saying you can't share Jesus Christ stuff. Like, come on now. And so, yeah. And like she was saying, it. God is hurt to see how this world is today. That's what she was saying in the skit. Like, he, he's hurt of what he sees in this world today. Like, the way he made this world and how it's coming out to be, he's hurt. And Jesus Christ is very hurt. And he already told me he was tired. In that dream, he was like, I'm just tired of, I'm just tired of this. But wait until I come and get my people. Wait until I come and get my people. Because these people don't understand that when I come and get them and I and and, and I judge them because God is tired. But when it's over, they gonna wish they never lived their life like that. And see, I don't want to be one of those people that he's hurt by. I want him to be happy with me. I don't want to see him mad at me or angry at me or, you know, saying, oh, you hurt me every single day. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ has feelings too. And I'm pretty sure he does have feelings that he's hurt about how this world is and how people just portray him. Like, it's, he was telling me these things in the dream. I'm so serious. Like, we were having a dead conversation. And so, He's hurt by what this people what people do to him and how he how they portray him and how they don't do what he wants them to do. But like I was saying, everybody's not chosen. So yeah. But it, it is it's sad and it hurts him every single day how people just how they know they're chosen but they just don't wanna do it. They just wanna continue what they wanna do. But like I said, he gon it might be continuing like I said, he letting it all happen right now. But when he come back, when he comes back, you gonna wish you never lived your life like that. You gonna wish you never lived your life like that. When he tell, when he tell you that he never knew you, you would never wish you was to live your life like the world ever again. And I promise you that. See, right now you might not believe me because you don't, you might not recognize or you might not feel. But if you could see how this time is going fast, oh, you will understand. Because trust me, God is letting all this stuff happen right now. But when it's over, when it's over, you will never wish you lived your life like you did on earth. You will really wish. And you knew that you were chosen, that you will wish that you was that person to follow who he was. You will wish that you did the works that he needed you to do, that he needed you to do on this earth. You will wish. But right now he's letting you do whatever you want to do. But when it's all done, when it's all over, 
when you go before him and he judges you, that is it. Y'all don't understand. That is it. When you come across his face, when you see his face, that is it. You're coming across a king. And I'm telling y'all, in my dream, I came across a king. His voice was so deep, all I could say was yes. You say no, you out of there. It's not like you couldn't even say no. The only thing you could say was yes. And for the people that don't believe God, the Bible already says every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess that he is Lord. It says it in the Bible. He don't care who you are. You don't believe in him. You don't understand who he is. You don't do the things. You know that you're called by him, but you don't do the things. You're going to bow down to him. You're not running away. Nobody's running away. It already says it in the Bible. But if you've been studying the Bible and you know in the Bible, you know. But if you too caught up into the world, then you probably wouldn't know. But see, I know. Okay, I know. Because I think I've seen it in the Bible. Every knee going to bow. And every tongue going to confess that he is our king and our Lord. He is God. He is the son of God. He is the son of Jesus Christ. It says in the Bible, every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess. He don't care who you are, believer or not believer. You're going to bow down to him. He is a straight king. Yeah, yeah, you might have a father, a father physically. And you might think he's your king. He's the king of that house and this and that. But I'm talking about a real king. A real king that's over the whole entire world. That's over you. That's over your parents. That's over everybody. A king that holds the world in his hands. That can break this world in half. A king. A real one. Not a fake one. Not a king that could do little, but a king that could do much. A king that could do a lot more than you think. So, I was telling a woman in my dream, he is a real life king. When I tell y'all that Jesus Christ is a king, he is a king. I already believed in Jesus Christ, but it's just like when he showed me that dream, it makes me even believe it even more. You know what I mean? Like, even more, I still be like, oh, it's like, it's because it, it would be like this. If I wasn't a believer of Jesus Christ and he showed me his face, I would start, I would literally start believing. That's how it is. Like, I would literally start believing quick that he is a king and he is our God. And I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about a spirit. I'm talking about the one that's over us in this world. The one that created this world. The one that created us. The one that created the Bible. You know what the Bible stands for? Basic instructions before leaving earth. Read that Bible. It's giving you instructions before you leave the earth. And Revelation is the powerful one. Oh, Revelation has a lot of things. Revelation is, it's a lot. Revelation is a lot. When I tell you it's a lot, it is a lot. A lot, a lot. A lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of things. And I read in Revelation. And I've been reading and I'm like, Jesus. Like. And y'all pay attention in the sky. Pay attention, to, pay attention to Jesus' creation in the sky. Pay attention. Because if you don't pay attention, you will miss out. Pay attention to what he be putting in the sky. Because some things he puts in the sky, it's like, Lord, what are you doing? Like, it's, it was a couple days, it was a couple, what was it, a couple days ago? A couple days ago, I mean, the whole entire sky was just lit up lit up of all kind of stuff i'm like what is going on in the sky 
Lord, what are you doing in the sky? Like, seriously, what are you doing? I want to know. Like, animals all in the sky, stuff going zigzag this way, this way, that way. I'm like, Lord, what are you doing? Like, it's just crazy. So pay attention to the sky and pay attention to the moon. Because they say often uh, those moons, the little uh, blood moons, those are not often. And so that's how you know Jesus Christ is coming soon. Pay attention, y'all. You got to wake up. You got to wake up. It's no more time to play. Time is running out. Time is running out. And it's crazy because the enemy knows that his time is running out. And this is why he's trying to have so many people turn against God. But like I said, wait all until the end. You would never wish you was to turn that way. You was you would wish that you would never had distractions of social media. And I and I know. Cause it's like he was telling me all these things. As a matter of fact, it's crazy because I knew what I was doing. But he just had to come and let me know, like, I mean, this is enough. This is enough. I had enough with you. You need to change the way you're doing. You need to change the way you're acting. You need to change. I didn't put you on this earth to lean to the devil's side. I put you on this earth so you could fulfill the destiny that you need to fulfill for me. You know what I mean? So, it was like he was just, like I said, he was straightforward. He came to me and let me know what it was. And so, I'm just trying to get my life together so the next time I do come in contact with him again it could be a better conversation you know what I mean so hopefully that uh I help somebody out I minister to somebody um like I said I'll be going more in details and about that dream and really what it was about you might know you might say you know what it's about but let me go into a little deeper than what you are saying saying so yeah but this actually will conclude the end of the video. I think I am done on what I'm putting out there. So like I said, share this video, like this video, and yeah. Um, until then, I am Nyla B. And make sure y'all pray every single day. Make sure y'all read the words. Make sure you pay attention to the sky. Wake up. And um, uh, let me look at my time. Time is running out. But today, like I said, I'm not with B, and I'm out. Peace. Time is running out. Love y'all.